it interesting for you as well working within TV, especially doing um, stuff, stuff like Skins, where TV, there's such sort of short time constraints to prepare and learn your lines. Is that a good discipline and, and grounding for you to move on into feature? Yeah, I think so. Um, but, you know, I don't think this film was, uh, was all fun and games. You know, it was a four-week shoot and it was... Um, it was incredibly intense. It was, you, you know, it was f for what Ron Scapello's shot and got out of the film. You know, for four weeks, it's it's, it's a miracle, really. You know, um, so I, I almost feel like this was even that that was a good grounding, and this was this really, was really showed me how to. You know, it was a massive, massive learning experience. It was fantastic. You know, because I had to by day one or two, I had to figure out how I'm going to. You know, keep up this tempo and, and, and hold out and be, be this lead part and know where I was, you know, at, the, at every stage of my journey um, emotionally. And yeah, so I had, to, yeah, I had to know the script back to front and, and I had to be prepared physically and, and all that stuff. Well, the, the, for you as an actor, the, the role of Tommy in Offender mm. must be a dream on, on paper to mm. play. Yeah. Um, I mean, he, he's, he is multifaceted when it comes to the kind of emotions mm. that you're having to draw upon, aren't you, really, yeah. in this film? You think of him as um, almost like he's lost it, you know, mm. he's lost the plot, but actually he's, he's pretty methodical, isn't he, in what his plan is to do once he gets into the offenders. Yeah, it was, um, it was just a case of, of, of me sitting down with the script and going through it time and time again and thinking, right, where, where am I going to be at each stage? Where is he mentally? And, and you know, with the way, the way Ron's edited it, um, with the or the way it's been written, actually, you know, with the, the flashbacks, um, that's the sense you get as an audience, an audience member. So yeah, it, you know, it's um, he's not just a mindless brute. There, there's a lot more to it. Was it shot um, sort of chronologically? No. With ha ha right, okay. So no, you're drawing upon those different page emotions. Page 52, page 87, page one, page three, page 69. You know, all in, all in a day. So it, it was it was switching between. Different things. Um, I mean, it, in my case, it's, it was it was almost it, I had to just build it and build it and build it and and then break down and then build it up again even stronger. And it, so it was just about knowing where I was for, for those you know those integers. Did you did you do much research for the role or was it all there in the script, ready yeah, for um, you to? I mean, a lot of it was there in the script. It was more about for me. It was more about the emotion and uh, you know thinking about what it's like to to lose someone close to you in that way and some of the darker feelings that, that we all get and and how I would feel if someone that close to me like I don't know my mum or someone like that was taken away so for me that was more important than uh, than than doing too much research into what it's like to, to live in a in a young offenders institute um, however you know we did do a lot I did a lot of research on that as well worked with um, a guy who um, who was involved in the in the film who'd, who'd been in and out of prison who gave me a real insight into into what it's like and you know I mean I remember he, him telling me you know, in particular about the sort of the first day in the circo van going through these you know going through these shopping areas and there's people you know kids with people pushing prams and the rest and uh, and smiling and happy and living their lives and and you're looking through a you know you're looking through a blacked out window chained up and you're about to spend the next however long in in prison and that just that feeling of that sinking feeling and that sheer depression and those those real gut-wrenching feelings that that, that that take place and and he just said you know it's like it's like the worst thing and I wanted to capture that when I, when I'm first going into the prison. Although he's there on a mission, it's also pretty gruesome and pretty horrible. And they've made the prison look as grim as it possibly could, you know. It's it like, does look pretty grim, actually, yeah. doesn't it? And with regards to the sort of physicality of your role, mm. you know, there's when we first see him, there's this kind of swagger. He's mm. you know he's putting on this bravado. So how do you prepare when you're preparing for your character? Are you working on the physicality first before mm. concentrating on the on the dialogue and how you're going to deliver that? Um, I think uh, there's a few things. Like for me. Voice is important, so it's figuring out how I'm delivering, how I'm speaking, you know, how I'm delivering 
the lines because that informs what, what the character's like. And in my case, he's very, he's quite controlled. He's quite quiet. He's, he, he, he doesn't exert too much energy in, in you know, interacting with prisoners. Um, and so, so that informs the character. I think, you know, things like haircut and things like, you know, what you're wearing and the rest of it, that, that all helps. Um, but I kind of wanted just to, just to have that sort of shark-like brutality and, and also feel like the weight was on, you know, the weight of the world was on my shoulders. So I was kind of, you know, sort of hunched over quite a lot. Um, you know, I had my chin tucked in, you know, like a boxer would. Um, and all that stuff is, is just, is kind of like his, his method of, of hiding and, and, and protecting himself. And but we also see a, a tender side mm. to, to Tommy as well. Would you like to talk about that and and the importance really of, of being able to see that side of his? Yeah, character? I mean that drives the whole that drives the whole film, doesn't it? So that drives what Tommy does. Uh, you know why he seeks justice, and it's all because of that. And without that, you know, the film would be half what it is. Um, so yeah, I mean for that stuff, it was just a case of um, of, of getting into that place, thinking about people that are close to me and uh, and you know and, and times when I've been low and, and, and finding ways to channel that into uh, in, into the character and into into what he does and you, you're acting alongside um, actors who are actually debuting on the, yeah. on the big screen how, how was my that debut as well, so. uh, uh, well, the debut screen. in film, yes, yeah, but that some of these people haven't even acted yeah, yeah, before. Yeah. So, does that, um, how does that work for you? Does that help or, or hinder your process, or does it bring a, a, another realism to it, really? Um, I mean, before, you know, I didn't know what to expect. Just trusted Ron Scapello, who, who, you know, director who cast them all. Um, and we were pleasantly surprised, you know, they, they all delivered and they were all prepared. They'd done their homework, they knew their lines, they knew what they were doing, they had developed their characters. So it was just like act, working with a normal actor, you know, they were, they, were all, they were all solid. And they brought their own experience to it, you know, which is, and that, that realism, you know, you, you, you can't buy that and you can't teach that in drama school a lot of the time, you know. So, um, so no, it was, a, it was a pleasure. And um, you, you are sharing cells w with Harry Malachi. Yeah. Uh, how is how is that relationship between uh, the pair of you? Because yeah. you are, your character obviously has this kind of overwhelming sense to protect, doesn't he? Because he protects him too. Yeah, I guess so. Um, I think it's, it's a fairly monosyllabic relationship, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, well, you're quiet yeah, I mean, throughout he, the film, aren't pretty you? Pretty really? quiet. Yeah, he's. Um, I mean, he's the only one that I think. To, it has has some heart, you know. There's there's one or two characters in the prison who have some some heart, and they, they perhaps shouldn't be there. Um, and I think there's there's a sense that Tommy. Or the, I mean, I I I didn't really feel like um, Harry, who's Malachi's character, was my business. I didn't really care too much about him. But at the end of the day, I, I use him for my own advantages. So it was a case of you know, sort of building that relationship to, to an extent and, uh, and playing on the, the sort of emotion and, and of, of his character. Um, and, uh, and, and, yeah, his... Yeah, yeah. That's, it's actually quite devious. I, haven't, I, hadn't thought, I hadn't seen it in that respect, yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah. But, yeah, that's quite, that's quite devious, isn't it? So there's it's another be, one to the list. <laughs> it's got to be done. It's got to be uh, done. And the backdrop, obviously, are the riots. Um, that's kind of what starts this mm. off the London riots from last year. After sort of, if you think about your thoughts about what the what, what happened, what were happening with the riots, after making this film, has your opinion changed really of the people that were involved in the riots? Um, I mean, I don't really have an opinion on them anyway. You know, I just think they're kids. You know, they're, they're kids out to, uh, you know, they spot a quick. A quick thing, and they go for it, you know. And and, and it's just bored kids, you know. And I think it, it would it would happen in any country anywhere. Um, you know what I would say? It was quite. It was a bit of a low point, you know, last year. But now you've, you know, now we we've got, you know, now we're making a film about it, you know. And there's and and that's something that perhaps those people who some of those people that were involved or knew about those things, they can go and watch the film. And it's a uh, 
you know, that's, that's just another thing that's going to keep people entertained. And that's why I'm quite glad that the film's been made at 15, because it means that, that kids can actually go and see this film. And that's, and that's, you know, that's one of the target audiences, is young people, you know, who, 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 who we essentially were just trying to entertain. And, uh, and I th so I think that's I think that's a good thing. I think it's, it's it's important to say as well that this isn't your sort of kind of stereotypical East End gangster um, no. kind of movie. It's it it is very different to that, isn't it? Yeah, I mean it's it's modern, isn't it? So um, it's it's modern London, and um, and I think you know there's a, there's a real heart to it and there's a real energy, and I think the way Ron shot it and Richard Mott, the cinematographer. You know, it, it's it's full on and it's it's a real action-packed thriller, and it's one of those things that I think you've got to go see in the cinema to get the full effect of it. You know, it's so it's so, so intense. Um, you know, with the soundscape and the music and 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 the way it's been shot and the build-up and all that stuff. I think it's it's just one of those films I don't think you want to miss. Can you tell us what you've got coming up? I've written a TV show, which I'm developing it with with Mr. Matt Lucas. Um, and it's, 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 we're just figuring it out at the moment, to be honest, figuring out what's going on. Well, how's that, how's that process been for you, sharing, well, right, sitting down and writing for a start-off? What kind of inspired you to, to sort of say, right, OK, I want to... No okay. jobs. <laughs> no jobs. Yeah. I mean, you know... It worked for Matt uh, Damon. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, a, he's an inspiration of mine, you know, but, and, and there's a few others out there, but it was just a case of, you know, I, I've seen people write. And, and 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 break, you know, break the mould and, and and become go onto a different platform from writing their own stuff. So I thought, well, just let me let me give it a go, and uh, and hopefully we'll have we'll have something very exciting. Are you, how are you point. how are you finding it? Because I, I interviewed uh, Michael Fassbender, and he's also writing his own script Is at the moment. Yeah, yeah. What's he writing? Um, he, well, he, he didn't. He actually didn't say what he was writing, right. but he was finding it quite a torturous process of writing on his own. So he yeah. likes to collab collaborate with yeah. people. I've, are you finding that better as well? It's interesting because it's, it's, I've been figuring that out for the last sort of couple of years since I've been doing it, and uh, I used to write at night, I could only write at night. So I'd sit around all day, and then it got to about 10 p.m. and I'd write till six in the morning. And that's what I was doing. And I wrote, the script I sent to Matt, I wrote in three three nights. And um, and obviously that's all changed, it's all changed now, but um, but now, I've, I, now I, I can, I, I'm a more disciplined. And now I can get up in the morning and go to where I write and coffee shop, whatever it may be, and sit for an eight hour day and, and write. And, uh, and yes, yeah, it's, it's Presumably it's reading all those scripts that you've had to read to prepare for yeah, what I mean, you do, just, puts you in, in good stead for what think, you're doing yeah, as well. I think subconsciously, you know, you know, I'm getting sent some, some great scripts, you know, to audition for, not, not offering, just, you know, just to, to have the opportunity to audition for. And, uh, you know, that, if you're seeing some of the best writers in the world, you're, you get to see their scripts every week. It's only going to help, isn't it? Exactly. And and sort of lastly, really, what kind of advice have you got for anybody that that's in your situation that, that's wanting to break out into acting? Would you advise it yeah, now you're down yeah, this definitely, path? Definitely, man. Definitely, definitely. I think I think you know you've only got one life. You got you, you know it sounds a bit naff, but I think you got to chase you got to chase your dreams, and uh, it's just about putting in work, you know. And I've and there's so many I've seen I've met so many great actors and I've met so many great people and I've met so many useless people at the same time, you know, and it's, it's, it's just about, I, I, you know, I, I, I meet people and I sort of go, oh yeah, he's, I'd cast him and I wouldn't cast him. And it's just about putting in that work, being, I think, being a, a decent person and, 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 and just working hard and, and making your own breaks, you know, like Malachi and all the rest of them, they're, they're, they're making their own break. Some people go, oh, there's rappers in this film, you know, it, it's unfair on, on actors that have been trying to get, in, get into the industry and for actors who deserve a chance. And I, I do agree with that in one sense. However, I would say that the amount of work that those guys put in, you know, to, to generate profiles, you know, is, is incredible. And, and, and that has been rewarded.
we all got regrets, you know. I don't regret anything.